infrastructure equity in this. But first, let me introduce you to a concept that is called environmental justice. And based on that, everyone, regardless of race, background, social economic status, have the same rights to environmental protections. However, historically in the US, minorities and low-income communities have been impacted more by environmental issues such as flooding. Flood risk can be mitigated by green stormwater infrastructures. And these are engineered nature-based features that can reduce the stormwater runoff by mimicking natural water cycle. And you can see here an example of it, which is called bioretention. And as you can see, since these are plant-based, they also provide some co-benefit for communities, such as improving health and uh, providing habitat for the wildlife. So in this study, we wanted to see whether the implementation of these green infrastructures are equitable in the U.S. Meaning, did uh, minorities and low-income communities receive the same amount of green infrastructure as others? And based on our analysis, the answer is no. Out of 29 states with green infrastructure, we have seen significant disparities in 2012. Florida is actually one of those states where minorities specifically did not receive green infrastructures. This is a very important finding. It's an issue of environmental injustice. But we didn't want to stop here. We wanted to see what we can do to improve the situation. And the answer was an equity index. So we obtained data on social vulnerability metrics for more than 8 million blood groups across the US from Census Bureau. And we incorporated that into environmental vulnerability metrics. And that gave us the equity index, which ranked blood group across the US from the most vulnerable to the least vulnerable. And here you can see the most vulnerable ones as these red areas. And these are the areas that need green infrastructure the most because they have environmental issues that can be solved by green infrastructure. But more importantly, these are socially vulnerable areas. We want everybody to have access to our equity index. And that's why a few days ago, we transferred the equity index into an online web tool. And it is my honor to announce that today, here, it is the official launch of our tool, and you guys are going to be the first user of it. You are going to start the change. So please, escape this code with your phone, click on the link, it's going to take you to the tool. Once you are in the tool, zoom in to the area that you are interested in. Whether it's your home, your parents' home, your neighborhood, your school, doesn't matter. And once you've done that, remember the color that you see. I'm going to give you guys some time to do so. Thank you very much. Go North. 